Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today we're going to talk about editing colors and we'll talk about changing thread colors. We'll talk about color shuffling. We'll also talk about using colors in the designs that are border prints and proprietary designs. And we'll talk about the settings for colors. This should be helpful to you, so stay tuned. The first thing we'll do is we'll go into our settings page and I'm going to change to a thread chart that is the brand that I own. Now you can choose to look at your threads either by name of color or by number and I like color. I'm going to go to Isocord because I know that's a big thread chart and we'll choose OK. Now we'll go in and select a design and we'll go to category five and let's choose this feather and set it. The colors that you see named here are colors that belong in the Isocord family. And I know that because I've had it on other thread charts and I've seen that the names are different. So for instance, the Pacific blue that's in this design is, is repeated. And if I wanted to replace it with a different color, we'll go to edit and we'll go into the thread chart, go to Pacific Blue. And let's just say that what I wanted to do is to change it with this red color. I need to go to the second instance of it and change it again. And if I like that, I can leave it. If I don't like it, what I can do is choose reset. It will revert back to the original colors. Now, one thing I want to show you is if you went in and let's say that I want to change the Pacific blue here and I went to number and I chose one of the ice cord threads, which is 4332. and I choose OK, what happens is it throws me out of the design. I was wondering if it had something to do with the number being an invalid number on the thread chart that Brother has. So let's try another number, and that's 0763. And that color appeared. So it appears that this 4332, which I actually have in my hand, is not on the thread chart in the machine. So if you had that happen to you, it's nice to know that that's the case. We'll just choose Reset and choose OK. And now let's go back and reset it one more time and choose OK. So we're back to the original design. One of the other things that I want to show you is the color shuffling function. So what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll select color shuffling. In color shuffling, you can set, select, excuse me, up to six thread colors. Now, if you try plus, it will not go beyond six. So that's the maximum. You can go down to one. And I'm going to leave it on six colors. And let's go to random. You can choose to either select your own or let it choose colors for you. I'll choose auto. And what you'll see is it's going to go through the colors, select refresh, and you'll get 10 pages of designs that are automatically color shuffled based upon the thread chart for Isocord. Now you may find one that you really like, but I want to let it go up to page 10 so you can see that that's as far as it's going to go. And now what it does is it starts recycling back through that. Let's just say I like this design. So I can go on and select this here by choosing set, but I'll choose cancel. And we'll cancel again. Now let's go to manual. Now this is where I get to pick out the colors. So we'll pick out a red. You'll notice that what it did is it placed this little thumbtack on it. What we'll do is we'll slide up, and I'm in the mouse, you have to hold down your left mouse button first. And we'll choose this kind of turquoise color. Let's choose a gray or silver or gold. And we'll choose this orange. This may not look good, but we'll find out. So now what we'll do is click refresh, and it's cycling through those colors. 
and I actually like that one a lot. So if I wanted to use that, I could. If I don't want it, I can choose cancel. I can go back and say, well, I really like this one too. And I like that one better than the one I selected a moment ago. So I could choose set. I'll choose cancel and cancel again. Let's go to vivid. In vivid, you do not get to choose colors. It's going out and it's selecting colors based upon those colors in the thread chart. And it will select up to 10 pages. I really like some of the colors in the vivid thread chart. Okay, so if I like this one, I could set it. I'll choose cancel. We'll go to gradient. With gradient, you can either select one thread color or you can automatically select. We'll let it go ahead and automatically select. And you can see what it does is it's adding gray tones and black to these colors. So if I really like this, for instance, I could go in and set it and then see what colors I have in that design. I want to choose cancel and we'll cancel again. Now let's go to manual and I'll choose one color I want to be in, in this. And let's say I want it to be that red and I'll choose okay. So now you get to see different versions of this design with that red. So this is using more of the blacks and, and grays along with that red. Okay, we'll choose cancel and cancel again and one more time. This time we'll choose soft and with soft it will go out and select softer colors more pastel in nature, and you have up to 10 pages. We won't go through all of those. I can tell you that you could sit here and look at color choices all day long, and, you, and all of them are gonna be beautiful. So we'll go on and choose cancel, and cancel one more time, and choose okay. Now what I'm going to do is resize this because I want to create like a border. So I'll go into size and I do want to reset it proportionally and also to reduce the number of stitches in the density. So I like that size and we'll go ahead and choose okay and we'll move it up here in the corner. Now let's go in and let's add a couple for a border print. So it's saying it is extending outside the area. Let me look at my hoop size. So I have a 10 and 5 eighths, okay. Well, that's because I chose the plus at the top instead of going to the bottom. So that's my bad. Okay, I can also add designs to the right of this if I want. I can choose this and go ahead and let's just say I want to make multiples of that and I'll choose okay. All right, let's go in and look at this. Now what you can see here is that I have several colors that are repeated and with each design. What if what I wanted to do was to change one of the colors in the design? Let's say I want to change this California blue. So I'll go in and find a color that I want. And let's say I want this greenish color here. What that did is it changed it in all of the designs because this is a border print. So you see it's this blue fringe. And we'll change another one so you can see it. We'll change the Pacific Blue. And we'll change it to a goldish color. So now that Coronation Gold is appearing throughout the design. So if you have a border print, you can go in because of the color sorting feature, you can change it. Now let's see if we can go to color shuffling. No, you cannot. So you cannot select color shuffling, but because it is color sorted, 
you can go ahead and select the color in multiple places of the design. I need to take a swallow of water and we'll continue. <coughs> I apologize for that. Okay, let's go ahead and choose the leaf. Let's choose a Mickey Mouse design and choose set. So one of the things that I want to do, and I told you that in edit, you cannot resize this. You can move it, however. So let's choose move and let's just move it up to the top of this page. And let's see if we can have several Mickey Mouse designs or many in this case. Perhaps you're going to make these for a, a, several children. We'll choose OK. And let's go out. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add additional designs. So we'll add several. And what I want to do is increase the spacing. So we'll increase the spacing. And let's delete one and increase the spacing a little bit more. Okay, let's choose okay. Now let's go to the color. You can't do color shuffling because I chose border, but I, I will show it to you without the border. Let's say I want to change the red bow to a purple bow or a lavender. I can do that, so we'll choose okay. Let's go back and let's delete this and choose OK. Let's go back and choose the same design again and we'll set it. Now this time let's go in to edit. Let's go to thread color and let's see if we can use color shuffling. We cannot. So you cannot do color shuffling on the proprietary designs. You can change some of the colors and you can also create borders with those. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you have questions, please let me know. I'm available on YouTube and then also Facebook. I have a group called Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. And I'm also a contributor on PE Design 11 in Facebook. Thanks for your time today as always.